This is a video of my uh, <clears throat> overlanding trailer, M416. It's got the solar set up, rooftop tent. So, um, not into ham radio. Not yet, anyway. Most everybody on the East Coast seems to still use CBs. So, my wife's Grand Cherokee. We've got it hooked up with the CB. My JKU CB. So, sitting here thinking about, hey, if I drop this trailer off and I go someplace and somebody at, staying at camp, maybe they need a way to communicate. I haven't seen anybody do this yet. But what I did, <coughs> we mounted a CB for communications off grid. So, you can see the install right here. It's got a spring and a quick dis disconnect in case I need to take the antenna off very quickly. Just pull down, twist, and it pops right off. Oh, put it back on there. Okay. And it's got plenty of sway. So, and, you know, it's just the antenna. Cabling runs up under the frame for uh, the rooftop tent. It goes into my wiring harness here. And it all comes into my electrical box. Maybe it's a strange place to put it. I don't know. Pop that open. It's a little messy in here. And for compact communications, just a Midland 75 822. And one of the reasons I went with this model is it's very compact. And. Settings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report flooding to your local law enforcement agency when you can do so safely. It has all the weather channels. And that's one of the most important things you're going to need. Whenever you're off road, you're going to want to know about what's going on with the weather, if there's any severe weather coming in, etc. So it's a pretty, pretty straightforward install. Uh, you know, you get it into your electrical box there and wire it up pretty easy. The most difficult part is, of course, running the dang antenna cabling, but that's not a big deal. So this gives us the ability to communicate uh, with somebody at camp if we go for a ride or if we go to some place to go fishing or kayaking, canoeing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if somebody's at camp, they can monitor the radio. They can also determine what's happening with the weather. So, pretty quick and easy way to provide some off-grid communications for your overlanding trailer. Once again, I've not seen anybody do this. I thought it was a pretty neat idea. Once again, it just kind of all comes in here. Got your wiring harness. The CB, I don't have it mounted yet. I'm probably going to mount it up here so it just folds in and out with the root or with the uh, top. Uh, but it works out really well. And the good thing about this is this radio can disconnect from here. You can store it in your vehicle if you want. Uh, and this is the vehicle setup too. So it just plugs in. You've got a spare CB in case one goes out in one of the vehicles. Uh, it also turns into a portable with a battery pack and an antenna and I've got the 20 inch antennas that go with these so they get a little bit better range um, it's a great mod I uh, highly recommend it I know this is a really short video uh, but I hope you've kind of got an idea or two from it so enjoy uh, hit the subscribe button we'll try and provide some more content and let you know how things are going